Hey, welcome back! You look well. So theme parks around the world are visited by millions of people every single year, and one of their biggest draws, of course, are the rides. Love them or hate them, roller coasters and other adrenaline-inducing experiences are created with the intent to thrill the riders. But some places have created rides that push the limits of extreme into straight-up insanity. Theme parks around the world are constantly looking for new and ridiculous ways to raise the stakes, while of course ensuring that nobody dies horribly in a terrible crash. But the safety of these things are a little debatable as some of these rides are so extreme that they are straight up dangerous. So today, I'm going to show you these rides and trust me, it'll be hard to believe that they even exist. So without further ado, here are the 10 most insane rides in the world. Number one is the Formula Rosa. The Formula Rosa, located in Ferrari World in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates, is quite simply the fastest roller coaster in the world right now. Launched on November 4th of 2010, and Formula Rosa aims to give riders a speed experience that's comparable to a Formula One race car. Once you're secured by the usual safety lap bars that lock you into place, you're required to wear protective eyeglasses that are provided on the ride. And you know, those are just to make sure that any small insects or airborne debris don't destroy your eyes because of the high speeds. Hey Ma, this is fun! Ah, uh, I lost an eye! The ride starts off with a two second acceleration that immediately gets to 100 kilometers an hour, which will basically turn your face into a floppy pancake. Throughout the rest of the 2.2 kilometer long track, riders will reach a top speed of, get this, 239 kilometers per hour and up to 4.8 G's of force. Which is of course enough to out anybody that's trying to hide their baldness. I'm gonna be just fine on that ride. Number two is Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit at Hershey Park in Hershey, Pennsylvania is a one minute, 25 second ride that does a great job at making everybody feel like screaming for exactly, well, one minute, 25 seconds. Seconds. When Fahrenheit opened on May 24th, 2008, it set the record for the steepest roller coaster in the world. The ride starts off calmly with a 37 meter climb straight up to the top, which is basically heart attack inducing, and then a 97 degree drop face down. This is going really fast! Once the super steep drop is complete, the car races immediately into an inverted 32 meter tall loop and around several corkscrews, banks, and other loops, which basically will make you the ride has six different inversions in total, which doesn't beat every other ride on this list, but combined with its steep drop is enough of a package to definitely, you know, make you lose your lunch. You won't be seeing me on this ride, A, because I'm afraid of heights, and B, because, well, quite frankly, I don't feel like spewing knowledge whale guts everywhere. What was that, three puke jokes in this subtopic? Oh man. Highbrow Entertainment. Number three is Insanity. Located atop the Stratosphere Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada, Insanity is an appropriately named ride for this list for the sheer fact that it hangs you over the side of the tower and spins you around. Yeah, that's right. As if being on top of a skyscraper wasn't enough, it actually lifts up the seats and moves them off the edge 270 meters off the streets. The seats then spin around, reaching 64 kilometers per hour, with the arms extending to tilt the seats at a 70 degree angle just so you can see a nice view of Vegas or to have flashbacks of all the things that happen in your life as you prepare to die. While the ride certainly lives up to its title, it has a bit of a scarier history. After the ride opened in 2005, it malfunctioned during one of its runs and left passengers sitting over the edge of the tower with nowhere to go for more than an hour. Lawsuit! 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 Pass out and then lawsuit. Number four is the Banshee. Open to the public on April 18th, 2014 at Kings Island in Mason, Ohio, Banshee is the world's longest inverted roller coaster, which is to say it's the longest roller coaster that involves your feet whipping majestically through the air with nothing beneath them at speeds reaching 109 kilometers per hour. With 1,257 meters of track in a total of seven inversions, including twists, rolls, and loops, it may render your your legs a little less usable immediately following the ride. They feel like jello. Performing these loops at such high speeds gives riders a zero gravity experience where they feel weightless for a moment before reverting back to the dropping sensation and pure terror. As if that wasn't enough, it also includes some jarring <coughs> banshee screaming audio during the first 46 meter drop. And just to make you poop your pants a little bit more, when it gets dark out, the ride turns on the lights and the fog machines just to make the ride look extra cool. 
Number five is Skyscream. Germany's Holiday Park houses the famous Skyscream, which is of course German for screaming in the sky. It, don't quote me, my German's a little rusty. Opened on April 12th, 2014, the Skyscream has a unique and interestingly bizarre design for a roller coaster. This coaster offers an unnervingly strange launch as riders are sent straight out from the loading bay into a vertical track, but they only reach a quarter of the way up before losing speed and then it gets worse. They then fly backwards down through the loading bay and halfway up the vertical track that was behind them that they didn't even know was there. Once they're there and properly freaked out, they then fall down the track, back through the bay and all the way up the first side through a vertical barrel roll and then all the way up to the top. Did you catch all that? It's basically a nightmare on tracks. But it doesn't even end there because the first part was pretty strange, but once the ride reaches its peak height and takes you around a horizontal twist, weird stuff happens. From there you experience several inversions and then fly right back down again. If you ever go on this super tight and twisty coaster, you're going to feel that at any moment your face could be wiped away by a big metal support beam or the edge of the bay roof that keeps whizzing by your face. Ah, get it down! Oh man, I need it. Ah, get it down! Oh God, what is this end? Number six is the X2. The X2, located at Six Flags Magic Mountain in Valencia, California, is the world's first fourth dimension roller coaster. What sets this coaster apart from the rest is that the seats are positioned on either side of the track, each one with their own separate ability to rotate around 360 degrees. This means that the track will be diving and flipping around the track and your seating position will be spinning around on its own. The seat rotation causes a lot of face first drops towards the ground as your feet dangle helplessly over the edge. But before that, riders are treated to a slow climb up the first hill backwards. Once you go down the first drop, it's hard to tell which way you're going to be facing for the rest of the trip, which is part of why people like this so much and why it's so joyously nerve-wracking. But possibly the most amazing thing is that the ride cost $46 million to make and was fitted with a sound system and pyrotechnic displays during a $10 million upgrade to make it the X2. Who made the X2? one it was like you know what let's make people straight up poop the pants we'll just call it the poopy ride and someone's like let's just call it the x2 and they're like okay let's just do it number seven is zoomanjaro drop of doom located at six flags great adventure in jackson new jersey zoomanjaro is a drop tower ride built onto the structure of a roller coaster that's actually on this list but that's coming up in a minute opened in july of 2014 the zoomanjaro drop of doom is currently the world's tallest drop tower standing at 100 26 meters tall. Riders are slowly raised up to the very top of the tower in floorless gondolas while they consider their decisions that they've made in their lives. Once they reach the top, the ride then pauses for a brief moment while everyone comes to terms with the regrets that they've had in their life. Once they've come to terms with everything that they've done in their life, the ride then begins to descend. After they're initially dropped, the gondolas reach a top speed of 144 kilometers per hour for six seconds total, which is enough time to make the butterflies in your stomach have seizures. If you like to enjoy good scenery, you can catch a beautiful view of Philadelphia at the top. That is before you subsequently experience the terror of falling towards the ground while locked in a large metal contraption. <laughs> No, I'm good. Number eight is the Smiler. The Smiler. The Smiler is a polite name for the roller coaster with the world record for having the most inversions. Situated at Alton Towers in Staffordshire, England, the Smiler was opened on May 31st, 2013 at a cost of $22 million. The ride starts off with an early preview roll while still indoors and then slows down for the first ascension. Once you go over the hill, the car goes through six inversions, mostly involving upside down loops. <laughs> Then it stops and starts the second ascension straight upwards at a 90 degree angle until the next drop. After the second drop, the car then goes through another seven inversions, which is probably enough to leave you feeling like you've had enough of flipping upside down for the rest of your life. There are a total of 14 inversions across just a three minute ride, which basically treats your stomach like a drink shaker at a busy bar. He's not gonna make it. <laughs> Number nine is King Dakar. King Dakar, located at Six Flags Great Adventure in New Jersey, is 
the world's tallest and second fastest roller coaster. Opened on May 25th, 2005, it's conveniently located right next to Zoom and Jaro, which we just spoke about, which is built off of its frame. Yeah, that's what I want when I ride dangerous rides. I want them to all be connected, so if one goes down, they all go down. That sounds safe. Once riders are locked into their safety harnesses, which believe me are needed if they have any chance of staying on the ride, they are then rocketed forward on a long stretch of track at 206 kilometers per hour. At this speed, they're propelled straight up the 90 degree track and speed right over the top of the hump, right into the tallest roller coaster drop on earth. They go straight down into a barrel roll towards the ground, which is enough to make anybody wee themselves a little bit. The entire ride lasts only 30 seconds, but gives you enough of a high to last the rest of the day, or the rest of your life, depends on how much you pee yourself. And number 10 is Takabisha. Located at fuji -Q Highland in Fuji Yoshida, Japan, the Takibasha holds the record for the steepest roller coaster in the world. Launched in 2011, this incredibly intimidating coaster starts riders off in the dark with a surprise drop and inversion in complete darkness. Nope. Then they're propelled upwards through a tunnel at 100 kilometers an hour outside on a huge loop. After a few loops and corkscrews, which kind of seem like the relaxing part of the ride, the carts come to a halt and move slowly around the sharp turns towards the most horrifying part. The carts slowly climb at a 90 degree angle, 43 meters straight up into the sky before dangling them over a hump which leads into a drop at a 120 degree angle. Yeah, that's not straight down, that's slightly upside down while your face is hurtling towards the ground. Insane! So those are the 10 most insane rides in the world. I won't be going on any of them. If you guys are aware of any other crazy rides that exist in this world, leave it in the comments because I kind of want to know, but I kind of don't. Doesn't matter, I'm not going on them. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel because I release videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. On your screen, you'll find two of my most recent videos that you can press or click on your screen right now if you want to check those out. And don't forget to check out my second vlog channel in the description below. Have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Ah!